Hello everybody, it's Mr. Poke. Okay, let's not do that. Mr. Poke Games or Poke if you prefer, welcome back. Uh, it's gonna be episode... Well, <laughs> well it's good there's some irony in this because, I mean, in the past you guys would have seen a video with me catching Reggie Ice where I say the same exact thing in the same exact location except this actually is the episode. Uh, it's gonna be episode four... 46? 46, 46, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's 46. If I'm wrong by one or two, then, you know, that's kind of good. Uh, but we're going to get on moving. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Easter special, by the way. I mean, this will come out sometime after, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to get those out. Sorry for the delay, but, you know, things happen. Don here is still trying for a Reggie Ice. Not that this is actually not too far off from the Reggie Ice episode. I don't think that I've been trying for this for, like, weeks or something. Um... It really hasn't been that long. I was just down there with uh, Takamaro trying to get a spawn. I hope I'm not butchering his name. No, okay. yeah, it's cool. Probably close enough. Uh, but, that, uh, that. but for this episode, as I said I would do before, I wanted to make sure this is going to be Easter Part 2. This will be the final episode for this. All right. What I wanted to do was I did, I'd do exactly like I said I would. I'm going to show you guys all five of the locations and what I was ripping my hair out for. Uh, but let's go ahead and get rolling. So, spot number one. Okay, this is not the first one. I'll go back over there. But a spot, as you can see I have it marked, is uh, in this tree here. And you can kind of see it. Let's, uh, let, let's make our way... I, d I just need to get on that thing. Nah, you know, I'm actually in a place with good internet at the moment, and I'd like you to work for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying not to give people any leads, but uh, there's there's one. I already got it. All right, let's go over here. That's number two. By the way, it, it's I I am not uh, beside myself for missing these when looking around the island in part one. I would not have thought they would have put one in the Pokemon Center. Maybe that's the first place I should have looked because I immediately jumped up there and didn't see one. But, you know what? It is what it is. Now, the last few, okay, are a bit trying. Oh, by the way, Easter Crate. Yay, we'll be doing that at the end. We were going to do all five keys at the end of this video because I want to make sure I get it done before the event leaves. Um, I'm recording this kind of last minute for the event, but I've had some stuff come up and did some stuff for Easter. It's still technically Easter for me. So yeah, that's how you <laughs> the timeline for these videos really is all over the place. So I hope you're bearing with me. Obviously, you guys know the first one you guys saw. I'm not going to fly back up there because there are people looking right now and I don't want to give them any hits and get in trouble with the admins. Um, but yes, there is the one that's up there that you guys saw from last video. Uh, then there is, so that covers three. Now these last ones, honestly, the cloud one wasn't that bad. I actually was suspecting that they would have put one on Dynamax cloud, so I wasn't too beside myself on that. The Pokemon Center on one was though, because I said in the video, I was like, one of these is going to be so stupid obvious and I'm going to kick myself. Yeah, the Pokemon Center was that one. Uh, do, do, do. do you want to fly out for me? I'm going down here. Oh, wrong one. Did you, like, not jump, please? Thank you. My goodness. Uh, then there's another one inside of this tree. So that one, I also was kind of like, you can't really blame me because you can't even see it. It's, like, completely absorbed by leaves. And the last one, now this one, I was I was a little like, okay, they, they went a little far with the last one. <laughs> because it's not on the main island. No. It's not even in an easy to see location. No. It's all the way up here in this tiny little corner. I wish I could kind of see it for you guys, but I don't actually. Do I have any enderpearls on? Me? I don't have any enderpearls on me, and I also don't have a. Well, I could go to my PC and grab one, but I I promise you, it's in there. The way I got in there before was uh, enderpearling. 
So, I mean, it, it's it's in there. I, I promise you that this is the last location. And, like, people were, like, completely congregating to it when I was on last, uh, first, when I first found it. And I was like, oh, that's neat. So, you just come down here on the platform, and I promise you, you will not miss it. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. But it's just, like, whole. Oh. And it's right there on the left. Not, not the front of you, like, where the torch is. It's, like, right next to it in the corner there. I mean, you either need a real, like, a one-block flyer. Like, I think Genesect might work. But, like... I ender pearled and just spammed a stack of ender pearls, and that's how I got up there and got it. As you can see, if I do slash keys, I have five Easter crate keys. So these these were all the keys. This is all there was to that. Uh, let me see legendary spawns. Eight minutes. All right, we have a bit of time. Slash warp crates. We will open two keys now. One key after the legendary spawn, and the two up two keys to end off the episode. Because although this was the kind of the uh, main event for it. Oh, I got a moon ball. Just, just a regular munchlax. Neat. Let me make sure I'm in the right PC box. Or is there anything special about you whatsoever? Thick fat. I mean, yeah, you know, you're really kind of meh. Ah! Bro! That was almost beautiful! <laughs> Ah, oh. oh well. All right, got a moon ball though. I mean, that's interesting. That is probably the most next to useless Pokeball I could have gotten. All right, let's find a box to put you in and never take you out. Um. Hmm. Extra inventory. There we are. As you can see, we've kind of accumulated quite a lot of those. Now let's go ahead and head over to our location for the legendary spawn, because we're going to try for another Yuxi. This is what I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Uh, it'll be over two minutes. I'll just go ahead and get over there. Let's see. Hopefully I'll make it in time. Oh, no, no, I'm definitely going to make it in time. It's less than a minute fly, but... I don't know why I have this stuck in my head right now. Let's go ahead and get some... Oh, I'll get some themes playing here in a minute. There shouldn't be any going on. Somebody decided to be a... Mm -hmm, person, though, and ruined my Yuxi spot a little bit. Because they built a house right here. And I'm sure they were thinking, wow, what a great location. But let me just build it right over the water. There's all this land around, and they're like, wow, let me just build right over the water here. It's, it's just it's just a bit rude, because it's right in front of my base. Okay? And there's also the fact that it just covers up the space. Like, what you doing? <sighs> Let's see. Um, no, that's not what I was trying to check, but I really don't like that that buff covers me up. I wish I had a, uh, as I'm getting a notification, thank you, Warrior, for liking the video. I appreciate it. My goodness. If you guys enjoy the content, as always, you know, you can hit the like button, you know, comments, it's always appreciated, even if it's saying, hey, <laughs> you screw this part of the video up, fix it. <laughs> I mean, it's still it's still a comment, and obviously, you know, I like taking all constructive criticism. Ugh, my goodness. All right, let's just keep on going here. I wish it was a dark right night. All right, 40 seconds, and then we can finally check. What? It's probably going to be at like five minutes, right? Four, okay. Well, it might be D&D, &D, honestly. All right, uh, let's go home kingdom. I might have gotten the math wrong, like really wrong. Mm, I have an idea. I have an idea. But I'll, I'll see if it has a last resort. 
I, I should be able to make it over in four minutes, and I'll figure things out from there. I'm not going to fly over to the Belden location. I'm flying over to a, an Extreme Hills location. That should work. I just kind of got my math wrong. Oh, crap, how'd I do that? Yep, it's a D&D &D spawn. Crap, I don't know if I'm going to make it in three minutes. Mmm. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's a D&D. &D. Yikes! I really want to be there for this now, but... <laughs> because I screwed that up. I teleported back with that. Gosh darn it. Oh crap. Please let me make it in time. Yikes, 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 yikes. I only have about another minute, minute and a half. Actually, not a minute and a half, closer to two minutes. But. Maybe I should be going for Miss Spirit then, but I kind of need a Rayquaza right now. So, I mean, in case anybody's curious, because this is so far in the future, this I would have already said something. But um, at the moment, I'm working on making gems on the server, and it started out at 5. This is new information, okay? It started out at 5, but then I was like, if I'm already making 5 gems, okay, why don't I just make a... This is obviously not a server thing, it's a me thing, and something I'm doing with a few friends on here is I make eight gems, I have an elite four and a champion battle, and it's like, why would you go through all that work in the process? What's in it? What, what's in it for you, and like, what's it, how is it gonna, what's it gonna do for the server? And my response to that is, oh crap, I need to keep my eye on here, because we should be getting up to the island here soon. Yep, we're almost there. We're really high. Sorry, I'm, I'm really focusing on this until we get over there, and then I can go all into this. Woo! That took some effort. All right, TPA here. If I if I was not if I didn't have decent internet right now, I would have been screwed. Honestly, I would have had to go for mess period or something that was close. Please, TPL, please. Thank you. All right, there's a chance. It's not a great chance. Wait, it's uh. What? It's sunrise. What you doing? What you doing? Don't tell me that those spawns are still night spawns. Thank you. My goodness. You're gonna give me a heart attack up in here. My goodness. But uh, basically, my plans changed here. Let, let's make sure they're back to. Ha 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 ha. Please give me, give me my. Yep, need to fail. Fail. So let me let's calculate where the next spawn's gonna be. Twenty and then eight. It's gonna be afternoon. Afternoon. Next. LTP. Wow, all right, admin bought himself something. Um, but yeah, basically I made a new plan. Let's go to crates, we can do the, I said we do uh, the next key. Uh, but basically I'm planning to do eight gyms now, host an elite four and then a champion battle. And what I'll gain from this is that I think it'll be some fun content for the channel and obviously for the server. I talked about it. No! Can I get something interesting? No, I, I get a Baneri. Cool. Neato. Neato. You know what? I'm gonna do one more because I'm not happy with that. I'm not satisfied with using three keys and basically getting nothing. And a Tokabi. Wow. I am so, so taken aback. What a useful end. Probably, yeah. I mean, out of all, out of all the baby Pokemon, alright, that is probably one of the most useful. But... Veneri? Like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> That's not good. Four out of the five are duds. We're going to save the last one for the end of this episode, all right? I, I, mm, that hurts, though. I, was, I honestly wanted a rainbow wing. Uh, let's, could you stop lagging, please? Uh, but what I'm planning on doing is, if you come over to... Let's go back to Home Kingdom. Yes, it will be the Kingdom of Poke when it's done. 
Uh, when this area is completely finished, which it will be, but it's going to take a long time because the person that's working on it is having a lot of issues. So until this is done, I guess while it's being done, I can work on other things and prepare for it. But I'm planning on hosting eight gems. A few on this island here, actually, and then a few in, a few in other places. And I'm planning on hosting a... Okay, let's go through the list here. I, it was ice, dark, flying... Alright, you know what? I, I, sense it, I sense it in the chat. I'm going to read it off because otherwise I'm going to struggle and may accidentally just repeat something. And I'm not going to be that person today. You know what? It's been a long day. Great Easter, but a long day. And I'm going to save myself the trouble. So... Let's see. Sorry guys, it's gonna take me just a few seconds. Um Why did I have to send it so far up? My goodness. Made it a struggle to find it. Alright, right now I'm planning on making water, flying, ice, steel, dark, dragon, fire, and either ghost or electric. I still am undecided. And then the Elite Four, I'm not going to say their names yet because <laughs> I can release them later. But there's some people that I've been with on the server and you guys have actually seen a few of them. Either in chat or actually in a video. Um, but let's see. I know one of them's doing dra- No, I think one of them's doing fire. No, no, one of them's doing dragon. Okay, one of them's doing dragon, one of them's doing ice, one of them's doing water, and... Oh, I got it. Ice, dragon, water, and electric. There we are. Somebody had a list. Cool. So, they're obviously repeating some types of music for my gems, but they leap forward always independent, so that's not really a big deal. Um... And obviously there are a few types missing, it's like, why well, isn't there a fairy gem and some other things? It's like, well, because I thought about making a team for that, but then I realized I don't, I'm not a huge fan of fairies. Um, jeez, alright, GG. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's not something that I would probably freak out over, it, but it's, all the ones that I did are teams that I'm going to have to make for myself, and they're teams that I think are cool. Especially ones like water and electric, which I feel like don't get enough attention. Um, I mean, stuff like ice and uh, dragon is pretty commonplace, but I decided to throw a dragon gym in there is because, come on, gym 8 has to be a dragon. That has to be. Just because, like, the, the dragon's always the roadblock at the end because it's just like, well, because they're going to be numbered. I don't have them numbered yet, but I know that I probably want either the... Oh, man. Probably going to save with electric for 3 or 4, but... Probably water for the first one, honestly. Or water or... No, because I don't feel like dark would be a good first one, honestly. It's trying to think about all this now. <laughs> Maybe flying. Actually, flying might be pretty cool. Flying or water will be my first gym. And what I'll do is just to kind of explain the groundwork for this plan here. Because, you know what? It's Easter. And I, I was thinking about all this and been working it out over the past couple days. And I want you guys to know what I've been up to. Um... But I'll be hosting eight gems, and you'll challenge each one. Um, and as you work your way up through the gems, then your main goal will be to beat all eight gems. Okay, you'll get an items for basically each completion, like an item with a specific name on it. And if you have all eight, then you can challenge the Elite Four. And obviously there's a communication channel, so if you were to say, you know, rename an item and say, I beat the gems, it's just like, no, because there's direct communication and every single time somebody challenges the Elite Four, there will be some, you know, conversations to be had. But, um, uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm watching the chat as well. But if you beat the, what I'm thinking right now is if you beat the eight gems, you'll get a random shiny, which means I'll ha I literally already have a PC box full of shinies. And so like we, I can, me and the other people in the gems and Elite Four can work together to pull, pull prizes and money and some other stuff. 
It's not going to be like a trainer battle. You're not going to win unless, like, here's 100,000. It's more going to be like, oh, you win. Congratulations. Here's your item. Move on to the next challenge. It's like, but I think by adding prizes as milestones, people will be more... How should I phrase this? They'll be more... Mm, I actually don't know how to word this. Enticed. They'll be more enticed to take part in it. So, I mean, it's... I think it's a pretty cool idea. Honestly, I was talking about a chat earlier and a mod wanted to join, so actually I'm hosting all but one of the gyms at the moment. Uh, a mod maestro on here, is she on? Uh, they, they on, I don't know if she's running if it's male or female. Haha, <laughs> I probably figured it out. But, um, <clears throat> they, at least at the moment, they're going to host the fire gym. So, uh, all the other gyms I'll be handling though, I mean, I've already got some of the Pokemon together, I just need to start breeding. By the way, that episode is going to come up within the next few because I need to get on that immediately and when I start on that I want to do kind of a tutorial-esque episode so you guys know how all that works. Um, even though there's a wiki and everything, hey, I can still try and help out those that struggle with it. Uh, and by the way, I'm fairly new to it as well, so if I screw up something, feel free to correct me because any and all helps appreciate it. Um, and as for the Elite Four, what I'm thinking at the moment is if you manage to beat the Elite Four, you'd maybe get, I don't know, I'm either thinking maybe once you beat the Elite Four you get a Legendary, or like maybe once you beat the Champion you can do like an All or For Nothing, and it's like if you beat the Elite Four and Champion then you get a Shiny Legendary. It's like, I don't have a Shiny Legendary, but I'm sure we could have pulled something together by then. But at the same time, I don't want to make something that's that crazy of a ward because it's not even easy for us to get. Because none of us are moderators, none of us are admins. This is something just players on the server are throwing together. But, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a pretty fun and pretty cool idea. I mean, I've, I've tried to include some people in it. Uh, I'm still open to some people joining in on it. Uh, I'm obviously going to be talking with some different people and seeing if they're, you know, interested in being in, in, in taking part in it. Because I obviously have no issue with hosting the entire thing. I, I could be the eight gyms, Elite Four, and Champion for all I care. But at the same time, it's more fun the more people you have included. So that's why I included some friends on the server. I'm obviously not just going to let anybody join um, because other then everything will go crazy, especially because I like the gyms to actually be difficult and not everybody uses perfs and legendaries and ultra beasts. Like, that's why there's going to be prizes. It's just like, I'm not making these. It's just like, oh, it's just a basic team. It's like, no, no, there's actually, you know, a fairly, uh, wow, somebody actually started building something out here. Let me come take a look. Um, I, I actually made a fairly, uh, I already made like a floor plan for my teams and all this stuff so to speak like I'm prepared to deal with some players and uh, I want this to be difficult because I want people to have something extra on the server to overcome because obviously there's the eight gems already which by the way most of them are pretty easy except for the dragon gem but as long as you have like a Xerneas or something it's a piece of cake um, and then there's the battle tower and the battle tower I think is too hard you go through the entire thing just for one elite trainer key. So, in my mind, that's a little bit much. Who says this? Oh, it's Kakas. All right. What is he using this for? That's the question. I should pass the gym. <laughs> I mean, I told people they could start building nearby. This is something you guys probably don't know about as well. Is I had some of the friends, not, Pete is not necessarily participating in gyms and all that. But, uh, at the very least, I told them they could start building around my base because I wanted to make a community out here. Um... I thought it was a pretty fun and pretty cool idea. I already got Blue, Frostmer, Kaka. I'm going to talk to Lobro and some other people. But anyway, besides the point, uh, I mean, there's some people that I'm more acquainted with on the server, I should say, that I invited to come build bases out here. And as time goes on, we can make a bit of a community and it can be kind of a fun thing. But obviously, I'd like to know you guys as I like what your thoughts are on this in the comments below. Because by the time this video drops, it'll probably be very close to fruition. Not so close that changes can't be made, but probably close enough to where it's probably only a few weeks away, if not closer than dropping, uh, because I'm going to get started working on this immediately, and I'm only so many episodes behind as far as on schedule at this point. Like, I stopped recording for a minute because I wanted to make sure videos were catching up so I wasn't too far ahead. Um, but as always, I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. What was the legendary time? What? Could you please show me? Da -da 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 -da. 16 minutes. Uh, it'll be fine. Wow, people are really camping for Zorara right now. 
Also, I'm sure I'm butchering that. I apologize. I don't mean to butcher it, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it happens. It happens, it happens. Not all names are easy to say. But I will always apologize for butchering them when I know that I am. Um, and if I don't know them, let me know in the comments. But I think it's a pretty fun idea because I was trying to think after the Pokedex, after I have all this stuff done on the server, like, I've pulled a lot of hours down here, alright? Let, let, let me just show you. Okay, don't judge me, but I'm at 650 hours <laughs> on this server. I've been on here since January, alright? It's been a minute. But even still, I, would, I, I, I was trying to think, what can I do? Because I, I'm enjoying every every minute I'm here, I'm enjoying it because I'm a huge Pokemon nerd. I've played a lot of Minecraft, you know, in middle and high school to kill some. Yeah, why are you talking about too much? <laughs> I'm not encouraging you to skip time on class, all right? I'm just sharing my experience. Just get that point across. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's it's. I think it's a fun idea to get both the community involved because I know some people that watch are on the server here, and also, you know, it's it's. It, I think it'll be a very very cool and fun thing for everybody. Um, but let me know what you think of the type gems. Let me know what you think of the idea in itself. Or, you know what you think of the elite four. Because right now, I'm going to host seven out of the eight gems, and I'm going to be the champion. And for the seven out of the, for the all the gems, they will be type based. The elite four have already picked their types, as I've already shared. Um, and none of those are me. Those are all people, other people on the server. But that'll all be announced in the Discord if you ever if you do play on the server in the future. Uh, I do not want to announce that on right now, but, uh, and then for the champion battle, that will be me, but rather than using one specific type, I will be using a, either one of two, one of two things, and obviously, okay, I really would like your input on this, should I use a full team of overpowered legendaries, meaning I've bottle capped them, which means they have perfect IVs, I've EV trained them, so they're, well, obviously perfect in whatever their, uh, nature is in, and to where they are, uh, they're, they're, they're good perf legendaries, it's just word of like that. Uh, and then also, the second thing I'm thinking is I just pulled together a really OP team of Pokemon that there's no generic type for. So, it's... It can either be all legendary, or legendary, obviously with some picks and For all my gym teams, I have rules set. Like, it'll probably be Mega Evolution only. Uh, sorry for people that like Dynamax. Uh, then it'll probably, well, obviously it'll vary by gym later. Like, the Elite Four and all that, they can choose whatever rules they like. I already told them that. Um, well, it's within reason. Like, only two ledges max. Like, that's what I'm doing for my teams. Like, if I only have one legendary on a team for a gym, you can only use one legendary in the battle. Because it's like, by keeping challengers the same, challengers the same restrictions that you're using as a gym leader, and it only makes it a fair battle, but it makes it a fun battle. Because if somebody comes in with a full team of legendaries, I'd hardly call that fun when it's an all one type gym. I'm just saying. People may always they have their varying opinions on that, but that's just my own. And then, I don't know. It's, I mean, it, it uh, eh. That's just my thoughts on it at the moment. I'm not going to dig into it too much right now. I just wanted to throw it in here at the end of the episode as I was trying to wait. Because after this legendary spawn, I'll end things off and we'll go use our key. Uh, let me... Oh, we got time. And I'll go use our key and we can go from there. Let me go ahead and... Uh, uh, let's see... Mm. Let's go see. Well, actually, I'm curious. I'll ask him while we're on video here. What's your base for by my island? Because we have a few minutes to kill here. Let's see. Uh, let's go to my PC box at the moment. <laughs> Kemp, Togepi and Munchlax, alright, were not terrible things to get. Because I actually want a good Togekiss. I'll put them off to the side. But I, I really don't care for Baneri. Even if that's his hidden ability, I still don't care for it. Although I did get a shiny Abra the other day. I didn't show you guys that. It's really not a good nature, but I did get a shiny Abra. Who wants to buy a shiny Larvitar? It's like, neat! I have one as well.
Are you actually going to build a base? I don't know how to remove water. Well, there's two ways. There's this thing called buckets and there's a thing called sponges. Honestly, sponges would be my recommendation, but you know, to each their own. That's what I'd say there. Let's actually do a battle here. Maybe not get that much for it, but you know, something's better than nothing. Wow, you just have to use yawn on me right now, don't you? Now I'm about to fall asleep. Wow, you're really about to do me like that. All right. So. There might be some in the water temple by my base, though, honestly. Wow, that really didn't help much. <laughs> Can you just all just... Okay, that really didn't work. Need 3,000 for all that trouble. Neato! That uh, really isn't that much, though. I mean, eh... Like, I thought about making money, like, maybe giving money to players for beating the gems, but honestly, I don't think that would be that positive of a thing. For, for two reasons. One, because money is an okay thing to give out for, like, items and stuff, but we'd be totally screwing with the economy. Uh, because really high... Uh, I also thought about restricting high rank players, because uh, honestly, high rank players will abuse it if I were to do that. Could you... And... It, Oh, okay, that pisses me off. Alright, let's do... Okay, you know what? I try I tried being the tried being the you know nice the nice person, but let me just Let me just knock you out real fast. I was like, let me do the strat where I just raise my attack and then one shot all the Pokemon, but you know, nope, nope, you didn't want to let me do that, so you're gonna have to You're gonna have to just accept your fate now. That's what I'm talking about. Really still didn't get a lot of money for it, but you know, take what I can get. Also, next the next spawn will be an afternoon, but I'm hoping it'll be a dark ride night. And if it is, that'd be pretty neat. I already have a dark ride, but I want a timid one. Um, by the way, for my dark gym, I already have some teams that I'm throwing together. Once I have them all like perfectly laid out, I'll announce it on video and announce what I'm doing and announce what I'm working on. I already have some Pokemon, like I, I HA hunted, uh, Galarian, Dauramaka, Dratini, Pancham for False Swipe because it can False Swipe Ghost with its hidden ability. Uh, by the way, that's probably my favorite False Swiper. It'd be between uh, Mew and Pancham. Mew can't False Swipe Ghosts, but it's just... It can learn anything, <laughs> so it's just useful. Uh, give it, like, Hypnosis, give it uh, False Swipe. I mean, just give it... It, it has a very high speed. And obviously, it's a, it's a legendary, so it's already a decent Pokemon. So I mean, you know, to each their own. But I, I, Pancham is my favorite regular Pokemon because of its hidden ability, Scrappy. It actually let me H, uh, hidden. It actually let me shiny hunt back in Sun and Moon for a shiny Ghastly. But that's besides the point. Um, let's do it here. Get this man over here. Well, I have some people dropping off already. Make the odds better for me. The more people that are not on here, the better the odds will be for me to spawn a legendary. So, I'm very much for that. There are some people on here that have definitely been very helpful to me, and I appreciate them. <laughs> because they'll help me with legendary spawns, because normally as a player, you obviously have very skewed odds. Like, it may be... If there's a lot of people, maybe you only have like six to seven percent of a, the actual spawn chance in your favor. But the more people I have in one location, the more likely it is that it spawns here. Even if it doesn't spawn on me and it spawns on them, we work together to get legendaries. So it's a pretty, pretty nice little, uh, pretty nice thing. Pretty nice thing. Can't lie. What are you doing? I mean, he's, he's just kind of there. I mean, that's fine, but I'm just curious. 
<laughs> I meant to the dark. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're good, I'm just... You're just chilling. <laughs> I think it's a little funny. But... Man, I really wish you would stop doing that, bud. A lot of people beg on the server for the legendary timer, and I get it. I've done that. But, at the same time... Really doesn't help our odds out here. Not saying... I'm not, I'm not saying that it's fair to just completely endorse high ranks. For like, oh, they should get the legendary because they have the rank. No. Abso uh, absolutely not, but at the same time, I kind of get it. <laughs> dark, I use it the Oh, that's not Is it dark? I always use night vision. Oh, well, yeah, just a little bit, bud. Just a little bit. I'm just a little bit concerned for you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, can I do slash kid gold? How long do I have to wait till that? Five days. Wow, yeah, no, 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 I got it. Basically, that's what I can use once a week for a random shiny, which can be a legendary. I got a shiny Dunsparce. Oh God, that was pretty interesting, you know? Very fun thing. I think the three things I've gotten from it so far is a shiny Milotic, a shiny Dunsparce, and a shiny Nilhelago. I mean, I'm never going to use that Ultra Beast. If it was a shiny Guzzlord or a shiny... What, what's the other one called? Celesteel. I'd probably end up using it, but... Any other one? Probably not. I mean, Zerkatry might be a good one to consider for my Electric Gem, to be honest. Or, sorry, Electric or Ghost, so uh, maybe not. I'm still debating, because I love Electric Type, alright? Electric Types used to be my favorite type. So I'm very much so like into the into the electric vibe, but at the same time, I'm wondering if having both a dark and a ghost type gym would be a little too much. It, it just yeah, because it, it's dark can easily counter ghost, but there's only there's very few things that can just straight hard counter electric, rock and ground being the obvious choices. But with the right Pokemon on the team, it wouldn't matter. It's like the same with flying. It's like, Rock's a hard counter, but if you have a flying fighting, then they're screwed. So it's, you know... It's very interesting to think about how all these teams can play together, because since there's so many generations of Pokemon now, there's so many diverse teams you can make. It's like, even if it's a mono team... Team, but if it's player made, or it's like server made, and it's not traditional game made, then you, there could be some OP Pokemon in there, and you just don't know. Or if they're perfs, like, even if they're very traditional, like, say I were to have a Starmie in the water gym. Starmie's ordinarily a annoying Pokemon to fight, but if it was a perf, meaning, okay, whenever I say perf, I mean perfect, just to be perfectly clear. But whenever I'm using a perfect star, star, Starmie, which would mean, like, max speed, max special attack, and I just rail you with a very fast hydro pump, you see your health drop, and you're wondering, why did that do so much damage? And why isn't it tanky enough damage? Because Starmie is also a little, not very tanky, but a little tanky. Or if I put a Focus Sash, I mean, I know I could easily get you down, <laughs> if not take you out. Almost, I'm not going to say regardless, but almost regardless of what your type is, just because it's very hard hitting and very fast. So it would be very hard for you to hit it at first, unless you're using a priority move. It would have to be one heck of a priority move to actually kill it. So, I mean, it's uh, stuff like that, like difference between perfect Pokemon and whatever, a per, what defines a perfect Pokemon is basically perfect IVs and all of its main stats. Like I, I have a perfect Beldum, a perfect, like because I've already put together some gems already so let me just show you guys what I got. Uh, that's a shiny one. I really wanted to make, maybe I should do a sh nah, we'll see. So far, this is what I want to do. I'm using this Dark Rye and this Guzzlord. I'm using a different Groudon, not going to say what it is because that's a spoiler. Um, I'm using. I want to use Lugia and Celesteel on the flying team. Uh, I want to use. I want to use. Corviknight. Uh, which, by the way, these are perks. Uh, which basically they're all perfect IV wise. They all have the perfect ability, whether it's hidden ability or otherwise. I want to use. 
Corviknight, I want to use Metagross, and I want to use um, Hone Edge, or sorry, Aegislash for this team, lose three for this team, and Dialga as the legendary. For the water team, I have a perfect uh, hidden ability Marini, and I also have a perfect uh, Swampert. And then for the ice type team, what I have here right now is the Kyra. So, I mean, there's, these are Pokemon that I'm going to be working on in the near future, but that's just to give you a general idea of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about perfects and what I'm exactly you're looking at as far as teams are concerned. That's not even, that, I got the half-baked PC box. When I'm done, it's going to be monstrous. <laughs> but that, that's just for now. Let's see how we're doing here. And fail. Fantastic. Let me just message him, it's a fail. And for our last attempt today, and probably forever, PLEASE GIVE ME SOMETHING DECENT! NO! NO! <laughs> NO! Oh, uh, whatever. I got trash, but it's fine. Honestly, it's the Easter event. There wasn't a whole... I wanted the Easter Munchlax, okay? And the Rainbow Wing, and that was pretty much it. You win some, you lose some. That's what I pretty much take from that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as always. Uh, trying to keep everything moving. I got big plans for the one that's about to start. Haha, yeah. <laughs> for 37. But I hope you guys enjoyed episode 36. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoyed your Easter, of course. Uh, this will be a way, long ways away in the future, but I don't care. I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. Uh, by this point, it might actually be summer, so I hope you guys have been enjoying your summer. Um, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So, this is Mr. Pro Games. See you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.